Hi guys, what's up? Tori here. So I know I'm late with this video, but I'm here to do Braylee's three month update video. Today is actually March 4th. Braylee turned three months on eight, on February 22nd. So I am a little late with this video, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Um, so we'll just go ahead and just update you on everything that is Braylee. So um, I don't know what her actual weight or length is at this point because we don't see her doctor again till the end of this month for her next um, well child visit. But um, I did do a couple weeks ago, I did stand on the scale, like I stood on the scale myself and then stood on the scale with her and then just found the difference and she was around 12-ish pounds at that time. So I would say probably right now she's around the 12, 13 pound mark, maybe going on 14 at the most, but... Um, that's kind of where I estimate her around at this point. She is, so, but she is, um, in three to six month clothes. I upgraded her to the three to six month clothes in just the last week. Um, of course she would start fussing as soon as I do this video. Um, so she is in three to six month size clothing, clothing now. Um, she is nursing really great and she also takes the bottle with breast milk in it um, for my sister and my aunt really good um, when I'm at work pumping is going good too I don't particularly enjoy pumping but I just don't like the way it feels as the thing but otherwise I mean it's going good and having success with it um, baby girl I'm starting to fuss um but she does coo a lot more. She loves to play and be interacted with. Um, she, <laughs> my cat's in the background there too. Um, and she even has been a lot more smiley lately and things like that. Um, she loves to sit up. She really does love this bumbo. She's actually been sitting in it for a while, really content. I think she's just starting to get sick of it. That's why she's busting um maybe i'll just go ahead and take her out and hold her for the rest of this video hold on a minute um i'll just go ahead and take her out but there we go you gonna say hi to the camera yeah but um so yeah she loves sitting in the bumbo because like she loves to sit up and look around um she's been a lot more smiley and i have not gotten any laughs out of her yet but she um, has kind of done like little like almost like giggles kind of a little bit. Um, she is, as you can see, she is big into spit bubbles lately too. She loves to blow spit bubbles. Um, she she does love to play like on the floor, like on her play mat and with toys. She's been just into, you know, wanting to be at, interacted with more. She's a lot more awake and alert. Um, kind of, for the most part does like two really big naps a day like she usually does a pretty big morning nap and a big afternoon nap like she's kind of getting into that a little bit more she'll um sometimes sleep for like a little bit in the evenings um and then wake up again like for her bath and to nurse again one more time before i put her down to bed for the night um and she sleeps great through the night has been sleeping through the night really good um for I don't know, the last like three weeks, except for she did have one day randomly this past week where she was up from like 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. That was like Monday night, um, like Sunday into Monday kind of thing. Um, and I don't know what that was about. The only thing I can think is I did nurse her a little earlier. Um, like the last time that I had nursed her was a little, a little bit earlier than what it normally is at night. And that's the only thing I could think as to why she woke up sooner that night. Otherwise, like, I have no idea, like, it <laughs> is a loss to me. Um, I think in the last video, I don't remember if she had her well child yet um, in the last video or not, if I had mentioned, um, but she has been started on um, an acid reflux medicine because we suspected acid reflux and her, when I told her doctor kind of how she would act. Um, sometimes after feedings and stuff, her doctor agreed that it definitely probably was acid reflux. We have started her on some acid reflux medication, um, and it has helped her tremendously. She's so much happier, um, and she doesn't spit up near as bad, and she does tend to burp a little easier, um, which is a good thing, too. Like, she's just overall a much happier baby, aren't you? Yeah. Um... So that has been helping her a lot. I definitely am starting to think because she has grown a bit since we started the meds that her dose probably does need to be upped a bit. But um, obviously I'm not like upping it until I get permission from her doctor and her doctor tells me if 
we should up it or not but um yeah but she is also has great head control she does not really enjoy tummy time i do try to do it with her periodically still obviously but she doesn't really enjoy it um she can roll over whether or not she'll actually do it is the is the thing she can roll like from her tummy to her back i've seen her do it um myself and my sister says she's even seen her do it but like she just will is kind of stubborn about it and won't always do it um the other thing with Braylee is she will suck on everything except for a pacifier. She utterly refuses the pacifier. Every once in a great while, I can get her to take it long enough to kind of soothe herself, but then she'll immediately spit it out. But that's even rare that I can get her to do that really anymore. Um, she especially hates the soothy kind because I think she thinks it's the boob. Like she'll take it thinking it's going to be the boob and then get really pissed when she realizes it's not the boob and nothing's coming out of it. <laughs> um, so... Passies with this kid just are a no-go um, <laughs> for the most part. I honestly rarely even try to give her one anymore. Every once in a great while, I'll still try it, but it really just does not happen with this kid too much anymore. Um, but yeah, she definitely, and she has her daddy's pretty blue eyes. I don't know, you guys can kind of tell there a little bit. She definitely has her daddy's blue eyes, and she has eyelashes that are like, to be something to be jealous of like she has amazing eyelashes and definitely the older she gets I think the less she looks like me and the more she is starting to look like Matt um she definitely has Matt's eyes like his eye shape eye color eyelashes like full on that um people definitely keep telling me that she has my mouth which I do kind of agree I think she does have my mouth but otherwise like I don't know she's definitely her daddy's girl she looks like her daddy um but she is so sweet and she is in general such a really happy baby she um really is a pretty easy baby too like i can't complain too much like i said she sleeps pretty good through the night and oh we're gonna spit all on my hand why thank you how kind <laughs> um as you can see she'll suck on everything but a pacifier because now she's stuck in my hand after she just spit on it thank you my dear dear child <laughs> um but yeah, so she she is a great baby. We absolutely love her to death. I love her to death. She is my everything. I can't complain at all. And as far as me being back to work goes, we are finally like it was tough in the beginning. Like the first little bit was so tough. Like I had some emotional like meltdowns and all of that. But I think we definitely have ourselves in a really good routine and rhythm now. And it's definitely going much better, smoother. Both of us, I think, are happier. I mean, I still have days where I struggle going to work, where I just don't want to. I just want to be home with her. Um, I love my job. It's not that. If you don't know, I am a preschool teacher um, in a child care program. And, I mean, I love my job and love what I do. But I definitely miss her so much when I'm gone through the day. And I work full time. I work 7.30 to 3.30 Monday through Friday. So it definitely, like... It's hard being away from her for so much of the day, but um, I do it, you know, because, uh, you know, to provide for her and her needs and all that and because I love her, but it de I definitely still, I have days still where it's like I just don't want to go to work and I dread it because I don't want to leave her, um, but we are doing good with the routine there and as far as how I'm doing health-wise and stuff, I'm doing really, really well. Um, can't complain. I finally, like within the last like week, my bleeding has come to a stop. Um, like my postpartum bleeding. And I think, I, I think it extended because I did get my Mirena IUD put back in, um, for birth control when I was between six and seven weeks postpartum is when I got that put back in. And I think that just kind of like extended my <laughs> bleeding period a little bit because I think I was bleeding, you know, partially postpartum and then also partially kind of like after getting an IUD put back in kind of thing um bleeding because that can happen after you get an IUD put back in but otherwise I'm feeling really good doing really well um weight wise I have about nine ten ish pounds to lose kind of depending on um I was 174 not too long ago so that would put me at nine more pounds of baby weight to lose but like I kind of been bouncing between 174 and 175 lately which is driving me nuts um but I do live in Michigan and the weather hasn't been great until like in the last couple of weeks. The weather's finally been improving. 
So I'm hoping it'll just continue to get nicer and warmer because then I can do things like go for walks and take her with in the stroller or even go for a run and have her in the stroller. Like I am so wanting for, you know, the day to come where it's nice enough where I can take her out because when it's so super cold, like it's just not worth taking her out because it's, she'll just scream because it's freezing and she's freezing and it, yeah, it's just not worth taking a little one out when it's super cold like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. I mean, it has been getting much nicer, but I'm looking forward to it being nice enough where I can take her outside with me and she won't, you know, be too upset over it. I mean, I do have little snowsuits and coats and stuff for her, but it's still, I mean, it can get pretty bitter cold here in Michigan. So, yeah. Um, but, so I look forward to that to hopefully kind of be able to help with losing the last little bit of baby weight. I mean, I I do overall feel like I'm doing well, you know, in losing that baby weight and stuff that I don't, I mean, I obviously don't got a whole lot more to lose before I get there. Um, my goal is to get to 165 because that is the last weight I saw on the scale before I got pregnant. Um, so that's kind of the goal I have to hit, even though like prior to getting pregnant, I was bouncing like the last couple years I had been bouncing between 160 and 165 for my lows. Um, so, I mean, if I get 165 or lower, that's great. But my goal is just 165. That's kind of my aim is to be back at that point. Um, and if I can get lower, great too. But um, it definitely is hard. Especially, it's hard when breastfeeding too because I'm constantly thirsty. I wouldn't say I'm constantly hungry, but I do find myself like when mealtimes approach, like feeling really starving um <laughs> when it's like when I when it's time for me to eat like I go from like not being hungry to all of a sudden like starving I need to eat now and it's usually when the meal times approach this like I starving but obviously my weight loss surgery tummy still kind of I do still have that restriction I'm thirsty 24 7 I'm always constantly drinking from a cup um <laughs> with breastfeeding but yeah so <laughs> that's how I'm doing and so overall we are doing very well around here can't complain too much we are just looking forward to the weather getting nicer so we can do things more and because I work in child care I actually have gotten my first dose so far of the COVID vaccine um, I get my second dose on the 26th so I'm excited about that I'm excited to be fully vaccinated so I'm fully protected and then I can also keep her fully protected and yes I did check with my make sure it was okay for um, from my doctor to get the vaccine while breastfeeding and he my doctor said that the benefits of getting the vaccine far outweigh the risks so um and so far with my first dose I've had no issues I had an achy a slightly achy arm the day afterwards but otherwise like I mean it, it was one of those I only noticed it if I bumped it and there she has not had any effects from nursing after getting the vaccine and there hasn't been any change to my supply or my milk whatsoever really so I, everything is going just fine so far so we're excited about that and hopefully you know this vex the vaccines rolling up will mean an end to this pandemic so we can do lots more fun things in public huh yeah because we want to have a really really fun spring and summer don't especially summer yeah <laughs> so yes um, but yeah, that is everything I have for you guys. If you have any questions or anything for me about Braylee or myself, um, at this point, you can leave them in the comment section below, or if you just, you know, have random comments you want to leave me, feel free to leave them. I will read them and get back to them as soon as I am able. And we thank you guys so, so much for watching. And we will see you all in the next video, which will probably be Braylee's four month update. So we'll see you guys then. Say bye.